Good morning and welcome to Storytime with Mr. Hallam. We're going to listen to a story today. It's Friday, so you'll have the weekend to just kick back and relax, catch up on any, I don't know, what aren't you doing when you're home? At my house, it's dusting. <laughs> I need to dust. It's pretty bad. We had company come by yesterday. They didn't come in, but I felt like I should dust the house. And then I realized they weren't coming in the house. So I let that dust stay. Did I let that dust stay? That means my house is dust stay. You know what I'm saying? Dust it. So, yeah. So I got to dust. But that's okay. Everybody's got their thing. Maybe you don't like doing dishes. What ifs? Maybe I had a friend of mine when we were in college. He had a plate, a bowl, a spoon, a fork, a knife. And after every meal, he whatever one he used, he washed his plate or bowl and then made sure it was set up for the next time. It's ingenious if you think about it. Speaking of ingenious, <clears throat> we are going to read The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. Woo! A classic. A very sad uh, Eric Carle had a uh, art in, uh, art institution or something or other at a, a uh, uh, in Nashville there was a, a, a big art gallery and they have uh, they do different things and one of them was going to be Eric Carl and unfortunately we were unable to go to it we had planned to go at Christmas something came up we planned to go later something came up we, we planned to go again and uh, lockdown so that's okay Eric Carl, the very hungry caterpillar. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go through all these things real quick. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four straws, excuse me, strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. And so here's all the, and you can see there's a hole in it where he's eaten through the, he ate through it and they, they actually put a real hole in there. Isn't that cool? So cool. <clears throat> <clears throat> on Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. I'd have a tummy ache too if I ate that much food. Mm -hmm. Silly little, tiny little critter. 
The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and... He was a beautiful butterfly. And that is the end of the story. Or is it? Hmm. How about this? What's the end of the story? What did the butterfly do? What do you, what kind of adventures do you think the butterfly could go on by, by the butterfly self? The butterfly self could go on it by herself. There's your homework. Or since everything's at home, your work. Come up with the rest of the story. Tell me where the, the butterfly went. What did he do? What did he see? Did he become friends with a rhinoceros? Did he, was he being chased by a big bird that was trying to eat him and he was flying away? That's your job. Make up the rest of the story. Guys, it's been a great week and I look forward to doing this next week. So have a great rest of the day and I look forward to seeing you next time on Storytime with Mr. Hallam.